There's no way to make this house worse. There's no going down from rock bottom. <laughs> the front window of their house is cracked. Just full of dirt. They can talk all they want about mine. I know yeah. it looks bad. Well, Teresa and Michael just won a $20,000 makeover. Oh, that's fantastic. We do neighbor makeovers as well. This, my dears, is carb appeal. That oh. is oh, phenomenal. We are in the Laurel District in Oakland, California. Just a little bit out of the city center. It's a complete family neighborhood. You can sit in your living room and it's like a parade of strollers and dogs. A lot of the houses have really nice yards and are well kept up. Well, there's one yard that's not that well kept up. That house. <laughs> I have to look at that house every day. Yeah. There's a lot of weeds, a lot of retaining wall. I feel a little bad about that. And we generally apologize first thing. Yeah. Well, we're about to improve your view in a big, bad way. Can't wait. <laughs> Wow, this is a clear indication of something went all wrong. Rizong. We have a duct tape glass window. How much it, does that window cost to replace, Chip? Just to replace the glazing. 150 bucks. Let's put that at the top of our budget list. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, <laughs> they built this retaining wall here, mm -hmm. but then stopped working. Oh. We could clad this very easily if really? we wanted to. Could we stucco it easily? Oh, yeah. What is the whole uh, thing with the scorched earth look in the front yard there? <laughs> well, I think when you've just adopted a baby, you've got other things to think about. We had a plan to do some work on the yard. Shortly after that, we found out that um, our son was on the way. They tell you you've got about 14 months, maybe, before you'll get matched if you're, if you're adopting, and we got matched almost immediately. Our focus really changed at that point. As an architecture, this yeah. house is already skewing a little bit more contemporary. We've got this floating plane right here, which right. immediately says modern, right? Sure. We've got a CMU block wall, which you say is super easy to parch to make look like the stucco mm -hmm. finish anyway. The only thing that's even showing any Spanish stuff is this. It's just that little just thing. Just actually the top half. This is easy. Right. We can chop that off. We can fill that in. Good chop it, Good fill it, and rub it down. That's what I was going to do. With parge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what he'll come up with, because I feel like it's a real, real blank slate right now. So go, go crazy. Hi guys. Hi John. Hey How's it going? Good. Very excited. This is one of the coolest drawings ever. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you just saying that? No. When we were talking, you guys were open-minded. You said we like bright colors. You said that, you know, you could go modern. And um, I sort of took that at face value and <laughs> ran with it. Oh wow. Here's what your house is gonna look like. Oh my god. Oh, that is amazing. Oh my god, that's my house. So this is based off of a style of architecture called de Stiel. De Stiel? De Stiel. De Stiel. Which means the style Okay. in Dutch. Okay. The most famous example of de Stiel architecture is a project called the Schroeder House, and that's what's inspired me. It's about floating planes, geometric lines, primary colors. A bench! A bench. I have three built-in benches in your landscape. I love, I love it. I love the one in the front. And they all have the same architecture to them. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh. That's gorgeous. Um, and for the first time on a design reveal, the colors are already decided. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that. It's I like cool. it a lot. Isn't it cool? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what you'll see when you sort of squint your eye and look at your house is a lot of planes shifting back and forth, mm -hmm. and then a lot of graphic lines that also are holding up the structure. I We're love it. I love to be unique. It just looks sexy. Maybe that's not appropriate <laughs> for young parents to have a sexy house, but I mean, it really does. Another round of but drinks, yes? Cheers? Sure, oh, cheers. Yeah. The steel. The steel. <laughs> about this? They're really, really no, good. I am having a good morning. <laughs> what are we doing? We're getting dirty. Part of John's design involves extending out the patio section to mm -hmm. here. To do that, we have to knock this section out. All right. But it's critical that we leave this intact. Yeah. And that we leave the house intact. Yes. Keep it going. Good. Is it cracking it? Yeah, it's popping them out. Nice. You need some real muscle here? Yes, we do. There you go. That's what you want right there. Chip, taught me how to use a jackhammer. 
The guys are already starting to frame out the first bump out, and then uh, we'll be ready to start forming up to, for our steps uh, and start getting the rest of the structure up for the stucco. Excellent. Hi. How are we doing? Good. So I've searched a couple of neighbor makeovers. Uh -huh. Perfect couple. Four doors down, I ran into Katrina and Michael, and they are huge fans of our work. And their yard could use some help. Because I love giving fans of Curb Appeal the Block a Curb Appeal neighbor makeover. Oh, that'd be so awesome. <laughs> yes? Yes. We can head over. OK. Yeah. Sounds good. OK. So this is the house. So we have a pretty traditional craftsman here. We've even got the little buttress look. Um, a yep. great color for this is burgundy red, browns, and creams. All right. And some flowers down the pathway, okay. and then paint the staircase dark mm -hmm. to really accentuate the bright colors of the annuals. Okay. I think it'll be great. We're so excited Curb Appeal is here and sprucing us up. It's such a great opportunity, and we were just really delighted to have it. Good afternoon, sir. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. You brought the heavy metal. One of the most iconic elements of the Schroeder house is a big yellow I-beam sticking up out of the ground, serving as structural support for some of the awnings and cantilevered members. Since I have similar awnings and cantilevered elements, I found an I-beam, I placed it vertically on site, just like in the Schroeder house. So once that, that concrete dries, it's actually probably getting really stiff now. By tomorrow, it'll be structural enough to where we'll actually build the eyelid out to that point. Right, and cantilever touch it. That's right. Now, right now, it's all rusted and natural, but we're going to be painting it bright yellow. It's going to be hotness. This brown is gonna be for the inside of this porch arch. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's a nice arch. Uh -huh. It needs to be accentuated. Sounds great. Sounds good? Yes. yes. This is pretty. Isn't this pretty? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start building the window box right here. I think that'll really dress this front up. But if you would do me a huge favor, if we could paint just maybe the portion up underneath the window where the window box is gonna go before I put it up. Sure. It's going to make your life easier. I mentioned to Teresa and Michael that the house I'm going for is called the Stiel. And sure enough, they did their research, which is not easy given that that word actually has a J in it. It's not even easy to spell. Yeah, Were you think... literally reading the Duesberg papers? Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> but they came back with this whole explanation about why they shouldn't have a diagonal on their chimney. Now, I looked around as I was reading that and I thought, hmm, well that's good, we don't have any diagonals, but then I saw that we do. Are did you kidding me right now? Did you just miss that or? I mean. Oh, those guys? The teensy itty bitty diagonals? <laughs> you know, diagonal is a diagonal. See, this is when giving information to the homeowners can come back yeah, to bite you yeah, in the butt. Yeah, exactly. A little bit of learning is a dangerous thing. Here's the thing. She's totally right. The Destiel movement was all about right angles. No curves, no diagonals. It's all horizontal and vertical lines. And now that Teresa's done her research, nothing short of perfection will do. I mean, I see your point. It is visible from the street. Um, but I don't think it will be visible once we paint it white. Yeah. Okay. A couple of options for the primary colors. That's red. That is red. This is, is it like, none more This red. one's called Stop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't. Don't use that color. Stop. <laughs> we can throw these yeah. up and see what they look like. Sure. Oh boy. Blamo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. That is blue. That's awesome. I don't think we've ever used these colors on a main facade before. <laughs> I bet. Not that we are now, either. We're using those details, but yeah. still. Yeah, as a, the main thing that would be, we'd probably get arrested. All right, come on, come on out. out. All right, so we're done. exciting. Wow. This, my dears, is curb appeal. That oh, is oh, phenomenal. Oh, I love, love it.
Before our house was kind of blah, and now it's beautiful. This doesn't even compare. So what a great. difference some color makes, huh? Oh my god, it's great. The decision to bring the color just to this line right here yeah. accentuates this cool, yeah, great so arch much. that you've got. <laughs> now a really quick easy okay. tip, when you buy pots of different sizes and shapes, mm -hmm. if you've got a color that you know works well with your house color, it's a right. complimentary thing, you can just paint them. It's such a quick little project. But look what a difference it made. It sort of ties the whole thing together. It looks yes. amazing. Curb appeal, the block exceeded our expectations. It's just amazing and we are so happy. We'll Come see on. you guys at the block party. Yes, yes. Yeah. can't wait. Enjoy Thanks guys. Bye. 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 met with Teresa, and she noticed that she has two 45-degree angle diagonals on her chimney volume. And she's wondering if we could frame it out in stucco as well. Hmm. And I've already said no to her because I feel like we're tight on schedule and budget. But let me just run it by you. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have a slight slope on the top just to shed water. But I mean, we can probably do it. Yeah. But you need to get rid of her internet to, for the rest of the project. <laughs> No more research. Stop it. <laughs>
Wow, what a transformation. Yeah. I love it. What color is it going to be? Black, white, gray, red, blue, yellow. That's very cool. The homeowners are very lucky to have you. Well, thank you. Yeah. You should tell them that. I will. Okay. <laughs> hey, what do you think? Love it. I'm, I'm more excited every day. I'm going to explode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Teresa and Michael's planting scheme is relatively simple, starting with a straight line of decorative grasses and penicetums to follow the line of the retaining walls. I'm going to have an oblong shaped patch of sod and then some soft plantings in a curvilinear shape to contrast with the sharp geometries directly behind. My neighbor, he's eight years old, he came by on a skateboard last night and he said that the flagstone looks classy. You know when an eight year old says your flagstone <laughs> looks classy, yeah. it's definitely it's classy. classy. <laughs> Painting a bright, saturated color on your front door is one of the easiest and most effective ways of improving your curb appeal and making your home more welcoming. And a great way of tying that door in with the rest of the facade is by accessorizing using the same color, which is what I've done using a burgundy colored garden hose. With paint, plants, and accessories, we've been able to turn this house around and for well under $800. What's up, Michael? Oh, Come on out, darling. Yeah. We're done. Right. I love the colors. They all match really well. Yeah. You have these awnings on your facade. In fact, that's what drew us to your house in the first place. You said, gosh, those awnings need some help. Yes, they do. Yeah. And now that we've painted it all, they're an asset to your house. Yeah, they do. It really, it really comes out. I really mm -hmm. like it a lot. Your architecture actually has some characteristics that bear yep. um, some accentuation. Yeah, you even got the one up on top, too. Yeah, Impressive. Yeah. The Please. old Christmas tree's oh, gone. Oh, it's gone. I feel such a weight lifted <sighs> off of my shoulders. <laughs> what are you going to do with those Christmas lights now? Uh, I'll find somewhere else to hang them. I'm yeah. not too worried about that. <laughs> I love it. I'd love to say thank you. You guys worked really hard all day uh, in the blazing hot heat, so I really appreciate it. It's so graphic. It's like a computer rendering. The most amazing thing about Teresa and Michael's house numbers isn't that they're gorgeous. It isn't that they come in two different finishes to contrast with different wall backgrounds. It's that they come from a design that was initially drawn 90 years ago. So even though they look like the most modern numbers I've ever created for a house, they're actually some of the most historically based. That's it. It looks great. Thank you. It's all coming together, and I can't wait to show them the final result. We do a lot of makeovers on Curb Appeal the Block, but I have to say this is our first utter, complete, 100% transformation. It's a lot of fun bringing it to life for Michael and Teresa, and I just know they're gonna absolutely love it. Come on out! Wow! Ah, look at that! How nice is this? That's beautiful! It's amazing. We love it. We couldn't love it more. Yeah, it's a little bit like the, the house fairy just showed up and went like, bling. We completed a Steel style makeover for you guys, and if there's one thing that this style is all about, it's the details. Mm -hmm. And it's really about how the colors shift as the facade shifts, all the planes that are revealed between one another. I think they're amazing. It's way more vivid in real life. The colors are so rich. Have right. you ever done a bright yellow eye beam before? This might be my one and only opportunity to have done this. <laughs> yeah. We liked it so much, the other night we just toasted to it. Really? Yeah. Pretty we much. were so excited about it. We just said, yellow <laughs> eye beam, woo!
awesome. Yeah, he took it all the way, you know, but it, it works for us. We really like it. This is a space that we didn't have before at all, and to have it look like this, it, it's nice. The, the flag stones are beautiful. This is also a cool place to notice one of the neat details. Oh, I love this. These cables with a relatively cool facade here. It's important to bring a little life into Risk. it always. This is one of my favorite things. I love it. Warms it up. It warms little. it up. So we've got some big, bold, and beautiful numbers here. They make me feel like people need to know this house. <laughs> yeah. We're basically living in a piece of art now. It's really cool that we get to live here. Yeah. I'm really glad you let me do this home for you, and you guys went out on a limb for me. Um, but I think in the end it paid off. I love it, and I, I think I'm glad that you chose this house to do this too. Absolutely. Oh, we have you a gift for you. You have a gift for me? Yes, yeah. yes. John, I want to say thank you for uh, listening to me and putting up with my sort of neurotic need for everything to be right angles. O M G. <laughs> this is incredible. The steel. If it's not a right angle, it's a wrong angle. Oh my god, I love this. So cool. Did you make this? Yes, she I did. made it. Very cool. I'm glad you like it. I love it. <laughs>